Well, the Dukes of Hazard are back with us. How about that? John Schneider and Tom Wopat. After a little hiatus, you guys bucked the system and won. <laughs> I, I, I really am impressed. Now, I don't know all of the details, but we all know that they had a little problem and they've been gone for a while. Yeah. But they're back. The show has been slipping in the ratings without the appearance of you, too. So... Oh, there's a lot of reasons, I think, for that. We can't can't say that it's just because of us, I don't think. I don't think There's so. There's a lot either. of stuff it, that has to do with part it. Part of the problem that we did have with, it, with the things with Warner Brothers was the creative problems with the show, and I think those are probably still largely responsible for what happened with it, ratings-wise. Mm -hmm. But you know, I, I had the feeling when you guys left, I thought, okay, these guys think they got it all together. <laughs> I mean, they are the show, and so the show is going to fold without them. And I thought, these guys are wrong. Mm -hmm. But look, at, in a short period of time, and I get two guys who look, they got guys who look just like you. Why do you think they did that? <laughs> Why do you think they did that, John? Why do well, I think they, I think they did that? Um, so, well, one of the main reasons, I think, is so that the people on the screen would match the, uh, the dolls and the toys and everything that they already had out, so they wouldn't have to change those drastically. Um, I think another reason that they did it was so that, uh, that perhaps we'd get scared. Mm -hmm. But uh, were you? No, it's just it's a big game. It was fun. It really was. And the thing that that uh, <laughs> I enjoyed <laughs> it. I enjoyed it. it. I like it. You didn't it. think it was so fun. But, uh, but you tell me why. Well, it's just sometimes it's kind of like a divorce. You know, uh, there were people that we really loved and still do. People on the crew and and of course all the cast. And it wasn't them that we had the quarrel with, but those were the people that. We had to kind of uh, uh, disturb their lives too, you know, by by doing what we did. So it was. There was times when it was fun playing hardball with the big yeah. guys, but a lot of times it wasn't. Yeah. At least for me. But now the show has been slipping in the ratings, and so mm -hmm. they're saying, "Okay, these are the two guys who obviously have to bring it back." That's your task now. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, that, that's a big, heavy load to bear, isn't it? What are you well, going to do? Are you going to do anything different to try to get it well, back? Well, everything. There? Everyone has been doing different time, things. Yeah. yeah. You're going to act. What were you doing yeah. before? <laughs> Just going through. The we don't business. remember. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I think everything has changed. Uh, so I think the ratings are going to go up. I think that it has a lot to do with perhaps everyone that wanting to see us back on the show. Um, but everything has improved. The scripts have improved. Everything is, uh, it seems like a tremendous weight has been taken off of everybody and now everyone is trying to make the show better because it has been slipping in the ratings and it's, it may be because of us, it may be because of, of uh, scripts, it may be because people are tired, it may be a lot of reasons. But uh, it's really neat because when you go back and uh, instead of having any anyone mad or anyone trying to uh, to hurt you anymore uh, they're being very very nice everyone is being nice and it seems exactly when we had our interviews before we were saying you know there was a family type of uh, feeling that wasn't wasn't apparent between the production and, and us and everybody and it's there now so everything was worth it because right. it's there and uh, it was neat because the executive producer Paul Picard called us up both last night and said hey it's good to see you back in dailies you know, and that's, that's just the type of thing, because we're, we're actors, and perhaps actors are children, but every once in a while you need one of these. You need to say, hey, you're doing a good job. And we're getting that now, and, and I think that's great. Well, for whatever reason, you have to consider this a victory. Yeah. You're back on the show. No matter what yeah. the disagreements were, the settlements were, which They're we gone. don't know, you've won. You got a, a lot of guts. Points. You get really got a lot of guts. Well. More and more. <laughs> more and more of your lunch is better, it's too. Now. The good life, now that you guys are stars, the good life does get to you. You have all that wonderful food and everything. That's true. And you got a lot of guts to take on an Elvis song and sing it. Well, yeah, it worked, though. That yeah. worked, too. kind of guy, you know? Yeah, well, shoot. <laughs> that was It's Now or Never, and it was, uh, Jesus, almost two years ago now. Has it been that already? And, uh, just about, and it uh, got to number four in the country. So, yeah, it was either going to work good. or not. Why don't you sing more in the show? And the Dukes? Yeah. No. There's not really much place for it. See, the Dukes is, a, is an action show completely. Mm -hmm. And uh, to take time out, if you're going to do a song and get it into, the, into a script, you'd have to take, you know, like two, two and a half minutes to do it properly. And there's no yeah. way that, yeah. that it's just too much of an interruption in the yeah, flow of the show. You just got an album out. Well, I've got a single out right now. The album's due out in April. What's it called? We'll look the for it. The single's called uh, Full Moon Empty Pockets. And it's just, just gotten out this last week. Why don't you two do one together? 
Oh, we probably do something. We do it somewhere along <laughs> down the line there. It'd be fun. So, Tom is one of eight eight children. That's right. Eight children. What do your mom and dad and the rest brothers and sisters think of all of those look-alike dolls and games and toys? And there, you, your picture is splattered all over everything. Well, I think they're more amused by it than impressed by it. <laughs> they, don't, they, don't, they, don't they don't run out and buy I'll tell you that much. Yeah, are they yeah. all back in Lodi, Wisconsin? Oh, no. There's, uh, most of them are out here on the coast. Uh, I have a brother that's a doctor up in Oregon and another brother that's an athlete up in uh, Santa Barbara uh, training for the Olympics. Yeah. Oh, good. What area? Uh, the decathlon. Oh, splendid. Well, good luck yeah. to him. And good luck to you, too. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Welcome back to CBS. Thank you very good much. Back. Well, I bet it is. We'll be looking for you February 25th. February 25th. February 25th. That's 25th. Right. Yeah. We'll be there. I'd like a second debut, a second cover. A second cover. A second cover. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Wait a minute. You said that. She said that, right? Mark yeah. Schneider, Tom Wobat, the Dukes of Hazard here on 1011 Morning. And 1011 Morning continues.